what's going on everybody, it's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. Come back, we're going to talk about something I'm carrying in my pocket today. It may not be the best, may not look the greatest, and may look a little rough. I don't care, it's what it means to me, you know, the whole meaning behind it. Come back, we'll talk about it. Hey guys, this is Patrick Midtown Outdoors. Before we get into this video, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. There's still a bunch of you that watch the channel that are not subscribed, and we'd sure like to hit that 2,000 mark this year. So come on, hit that button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you'll know when Midtown Outdoors posts another video. Let's get into it. Okay, so we all have something that was a relative, whether it be your grandfather, your father, even your mom or something that you keep around that you're you're proud to have may not look like i said the best in the world because you can tell they carried that thing every day they had it in their pocket or they had it in their whatever and it was something they relied on every day and that's what this object is it's in my pocket right now um like i said it doesn't look the best in the world but it doesn't look the worst in the world and you know I could probably redo it but I don't want to mess with what my dad had done with this knife and it's a knife I'm carrying I'll show you here in a few minutes but the little imperfections that are in the handle that he made for this knife and which I'm sure it's kind of a micarta handle uh, some kind of fiber handle I can tell we'll look at it closer once we get back but the little imperfections, little extra glue, uh, how bad the blade actually looks because it's been whittled down to almost nothing. It's real super thin as far as the height of the metal. And you'll see it here in a minute. But I, I got it out last night to shoot an opening of another video on another channel. And if you don't follow, I'll leave a link at the end of this for you to go follow. But I got it out to shoot that video, and once I shot the video, I thought, I'm going to carry that tomorrow. I'm going to carry that and be proud that it's in my pocket for a little bit. And then I'll probably put it up and leave it up for a while. Okay, so we're back in studio, and we're going to take a look at this right here. This is what I was talking about. This was my dad's case. It's a double X. As you'll see, this is not the stock handles. This is actually some he put on. Uh, don't know what you can tell on camera, but that is a like a fiber style handle. Um, the blade, <laughs> what's left of it, is that. Um, you can tell over the years, it has been used and used hard. And like I said, there, it may not be worth two cents on the open market but even with those glue marks there and looking at the handles um, you know just a simple working man style knife and that's why I chose to carry it for the last two days actually I'll probably put it back in the pocket today being Sunday uh, back in the pocket today and carry it some more but you know like I said, it could be worth a million bucks. It's worth a million bucks to me, but uh, to a collector, it's probably not worth three cents. But I don't care, because it was dad's, and that's all that matters. So, anyways guys, if you have something like that of your father's that you use from time to time, like I said, this thing will probably end up back in the knife ca uh, box inside the house and stored away for a while. I probably won't pull it out again, maybe another year or two. But I uh, thought I'd pull it out and carry it next couple days. And that's what I've done. I really pulled it out to shoot a video of an old knife opening a box with an old camera in it. So, anyways, that's it for this one, guys. It's a short, simple week. Uh, still not getting out yet. I mean, they're talking hundreds again this week. Um... But 
if you've got something of your father or grandfather's laying around that you use from time to time, let's see a video on it. See you on the next one, guys. Be prepared. Uh, don't forget the uh, YouTuber meetup in October. I will leave a link down below. Uh, Shannon has a new video showing the campground, the campsites. I am going to be in site 38 at Table Rock State Park in South Carolina. See you then. Be prepared.